Hey everybody, it's Miss Alyssa from the Hoover Library. Thanks so much for joining me today for story time. Uh, I'm coming to you from my bathroom today and my cat is right outside the door. He may be, there he is, he may be chiming in at any point. <laughs> Anyway, today I would like to bring you uh, one of my favorite stories by one of my favorite authors. Uh, her name is Kelly DiPuccio, and this story is called Bed Hogs, and the words to this book are so good that I took the liberty of putting them to some music. So I have my ukulele here, and I uh, thought I would try to play this one for you today. I hope Miss DiPuccio doesn't mind, and I hope y'all all enjoy it. So. This is Bed Hogs. We will give it a try. Okay. In Suey, South Dakota, in a sloppy, stubby sty, there's an itchy old straw bed where the bed hogs pile high. Of course, Mama and the Papa take up lots of space in bed. But so do sisters Rose and Flo and Big Blue Ribbon Ed. Each night the hogs pack into bed. They squeeze and groan and grunt. But underneath a ton of them squeals loud mouth little runt. I'm squished, I'm squished, I'm buried in this heap. You know, y'all hopping up the bed, I'll never get to sleep. <laughs> now Rose the Rain and Beauty Queen is tender, pink, and sweet. But more than just a pretty face, Rose has some stinky feet. So run gave Rose a little shove, she tumbled out of bed, that left five hogs in the piles of run, snuggled in and said, ah, much better. Now, big sister Flo's a tidy hog, groomed neat from head to tail, but late at night she drools enough to fill a milking pail. Bleh. So Runky Flo, with a little push, she slipped right out of bed. That left four hogs in the piles of runt, snuggled in and said, Ah, much better. Now, Brother Ed is quite a ham. His jokes give him the giggles. But when he has a funny dream, the hog bed shakes and wiggles. So Runt tickled Ed behind the ear. Ed laughed right out of bed. That left three hogs in the piles of Runt. Snuggled in and said, I'm much better. Now, Mama dances in her sleep. She spins and twirls and hops. But all that fancy footwork means a swift kick in the chops. Ow! Runt swung his mama round and round. She two stepped off the bed. That left two hogs in the piles. Runt snuggled in and said, Ah, much better. Now, Papa hardly moves at all. He's still as fleas and muck. But from his snout, there comes a snore that rumbles like a truck. <laughs> Runt sprinkled fresh black pepper into Papa's noisy snout. That sneezing really did the trick, cause Papa hog fell out. Now there was one hog in the bed. Just one sleepy head. No, Mama. Papa, no sisters, and no Ed. Run hunkered down beneath the straw, alone there in the stack. He closed his eyes and hollered loud, Hey, you guys, come back! I'm cold, I'm scared, I'm lonely in this heap. Without y'all hogging up the bed, I'll never get to sleep. So all the hogs came running and hopped back in bed. Mama, Papa, Rose and Flo, and Big Blue Ribbon, and Suey's 
snuggled in and said, I'm much better. And that is Bed Hogs by Kelly DiPuccio. Hope y'all enjoyed that and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Great rest of your week. Tune in tomorrow for another story time. Bye.